Hello everyone. Today I Gaurav Nayar of class 9C is going to show you the process of osmosis in potato cups through my dedicated video. Before starting, I may explain you that what is osmosis. Osmosis is basically the movement of water molecules through a selectively permeable membrane. It is a passage of water from a region of higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane to a region of lower water concentration. So now we may see the process of osmosis in potato cups. So let's start. Firstly, take four potatoes and some sugar and salt kept in a small plate. Now, cut one potato and squeeze it out to get a potato cup. Now repeat this process with the remaining potatoes. Keep cutting until 4 potato cups are obtained. Now put a teaspoon of sugar in one potato cup and put a teaspoon of salt in another potato cup. Now boil one potato cup in a fry pan. Wait 2-3 minutes for it to get boiled. Now keep one potato cup empty. Keep these for around 2-3 to three hours. Now try to observe them. We'll see that water will gather up in the hollowed portion of the potato cups in which sugar and salt were present. Whereas water will not gather up in the hollowed portion of the cup that was left empty and the cup that was boiled. So after gathering the observations, we may state that water gathered up in the hollowed portion of the cups that were filled with sugar and salt because the inner surrounding of potato cups became hypertonic solution as sugar and salt were present in it. Therefore, the cells of the potato cups release water which was gathered in the hollowed portion of the cups. Whereas, on the other hand, water did not gather in the hollowed portion of the cup that was left empty as it was empty. So, the process of osmosis did not take place and water did not gather up in the hollowed portion of the boiled cup because after boiling the potato, the cells were dead and, and dead cells do not perform the process of osmosis. So I hoped you liked this video. Thanks for watching.